Okay, let's integrate this. We have the integral of x cubed minus 2x plus 4, all divided by x cubed. So we have a fraction. So let's go ahead and try to work through its solution. So because we have a single term on the bottom, this is called a monomial, a good idea is to try to break this up into lots of little pieces. So we still have the integral sign because we're not integrating yet. And so it'll be x cubed over x cubed. So x cubed over x cubed. And then minus, and then 2x over x cubed. So 2x over x cubed. So it's this over this minus this over this, and then plus, and then 4 over x cubed like that. Boom, beautiful, really nice parentheses and then don't forget the dx right we still have to write the integral symbol in the dx until we actually apply some of our integration rules so this is still the integral of x cubed over x cubed is one minus here we're gonna cancel this x with one of these that's going to give us two over x squared plus and then we have four over x cubed and then we still have our dx. So in order to do this, uh, we have to write it in a way that is doable. We have to write everything as x to a power so we can apply the power rule. So what we can do is the one's okay. We can take this and we can bring it upstairs. So this will be minus two x to the negative two, right? Because it becomes negative when you bring it up and then plus 4x to the negative 3 like that, and then dx. Okay, so now we're finally in a place where we can apply our rules. So now we're going to drop the integral sign, we'll drop the dx. So we're integrating 1. Remember, if it's a number by itself, you just tack on the x. This will be x. Here we're using the power rule. So we're going to add 1 to the exponent here. So it'll be negative 2. x to the negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. And then we're dividing by negative 1. But you add 1 to the exponent and you divide by the result. Plus 4. x to the negative 3 is the exponent. We add 1 to the exponent. So it's going to be negative 2 right? Because 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2. And then you divide by the negative 2. Got to be extra careful when there's negative numbers involved. It's very easy to get confused. So you add 1, divide, add 1, divide, plus c. It's really important to write the c even though we're not done. Once you integrate, you should most of the time, like 90% of the time, write it. I can think of like one example uh, of an integration by parts problem where you don't really want to write it and it's kind of understood that you don't have to for various reasons, but for the most part, <laughs> you have to write the plus C when you integrate. These will become positives. This is X plus 2X to the negative 1 minus, it's going to become a 2 here, minus 2X to the negative 2, and then plus our constant of integration, capital C. And you could leave it like this, or you could bring um, the numbers, the x's down if you want. You could write it like this, x plus 2 over x minus 2 over x squared plus c. So if you wanted to write it like this, you could. Personally, I prefer this. I think it's a much uh, simpler, simpler answer.